Well, 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 what is this? What have we here? A Gretsch guitar? A Gretsch guitar? A Gretsch guitar? No, it's not a Gretsch guitar, it's a box. Gretsch guitar box. It's just rhymed. See, cut open the manifest from Cream City Music. Da 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 da. Uh huh. There you go. Okay. Everything seems to be. Everything seems to be in order. Put that in my pocket. All right. Now for the unboxing of the Rickenbacker. 381 V69, made in 1988. Maple glow with bird's eye maple wood. You're going to see it in just a few minutes. Let's open this sucker up. Okay. This is the boring part. Can I open the brown box? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be careful not to cut yourself open along with the box. Okay. Alright, let's get a view from up here. Alright. Let's see. Oh, there's bubble wrap. Bubble wrap? Oh. Kids are gonna love this. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Oh, I don't think. I think I just bought some bubble wrap. Oh, look at that. I see a guitar case. Do you? Do you see it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's do this. Go back over here. It was good. Yeah. Ready to get a good angle. Okay. So this uh, was made in 1988, so it's got, it doesn't have the vintage uh, silver Rickenbacker case. It's got the black one that they did back then. I think this is the second year that they made this reissue. After they stopped making it. Whoa. Whoa. It's big. Jack, I'm gonna have some bubble wrap for you. Soft taco, mind you, down here in Texas. You don't eat a lot of hard tacos. Right. Case, very thick. Wow. Okay, wow, it's in good shape too. Got all four little feet on the bottom. Handles intact over here. I'll show you that in just a second. It's a little hot. It's hot down here. It's almost 100 degrees because it's summertime in Texas. So I think I will let it, before I open it, I'll let it acclimate a little bit. I'll give you a little zoom in view here. Different aspects of it. The top, the ends. I don't know what that is. It's like the leftovers of uh, like, a, like a masking tape or something, like somebody indicating. Uh, you know, that had written that this was the Rickenbacker on it. There's the locks. 
Come in. Sneak preview. Oh, tease. You tease. You filthy tease. <laughs> There's the handle. In good shape. Little nick right there. I'm going to return it now because of that. That's it. I'm returning it. Here's the other corner. And the other end. There's the back side. Yeah, totally different from the, uh, the modern Rickenbacker reissue vintage silver cases. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I guess I let it cool off a little bit, and then we'll open it up and see what it looks like. All right, I think we've waited long enough. I've waited long enough. This is the guitar that I sold my 325C58 to get, and I am partial to blonde <laughs> guitars. This one, the Maple Glow 381 V69. Let's take a look. They didn't even wrap it in anything. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells kind of like sweet. Oh, it's got that unmistakable Rickenbacker case smell. If you've never smelled that before, it's like this sweet cotton candy smell. Whoa, look at that. 1988. They wiped it all down. They're like, hey. A little bit warm, not too hot. Man. There it is. The 1988 Rickenbacker 381 V69 in Maple Glow. Look at that. I don't know who owned this before. Like I said, it's... It was made in 1988, so what's that, 26 years old? Looks like it's in absolutely immaculate shape. Did somebody just buy it and not play it? Well, I'm going to play it. I guarantee you I'm going to play it. Even the headstock. There we go. Look at the beautiful wood on the neck. This case is totally different than uh, what I'm used to with the other Rickenbackers I have. Oops, focus. Look at the wood on that thing. Bird's eye maple. It's got this beautiful amber color to it now that it's aged 26 years and will continue to age. Let's see what's in the uh, case candy pocket. Even the case is immaculate. I don't think anybody ever gigged with this or anything. There's the guy's card. John uh, was working with Cream City Music up in uh, Brookfield, Wisconsin. There we go. That's where I got it from. It's got the Allen wrench, case key. It's got the Oh, here's the here's the tape. I guess this was the tape that was on the end. I'll unfold it in a minute. Oh, I guess it just says 381. We'll take a look at that later. The old Rickenbacker polishing cloth. The warranty card, which has not been sent in. Oops, sorry. It was never sent in. Look at that. That looks so dated compared to the one I just was looking at on my C58 on the poster. The poster that came with these uh, guitars. Whoops. Ah. Accessories, which you can buy for it. Put those on straps, parts. Oh, there was the first note. Do you hear that? Listen to that sustain. It's a resonant. That. All right. Let's pick it up. Okay, this will be the first time that I pick it up. That's beautiful. I swear. It doesn't have a nick on it. Oh, 
Someone's probably going to get some for me playing it. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, God. Look at that thing. It's even tuned. <laughs> Let's get that checkerboard binding. Whoa. Even the heel. Look at that beautiful one. I assume it's rosewood on the heel there. See the striping? This is a gorgeous guitar. Whoa. I don't feel like I'm worthy of this guitar. <laughs> Alright. Strap on. the strap from the old C-58. Let's see if it fits. to do the strap down some. I swear, I don't think anybody's ever played this guitar. It smells like cotton candy. I think it may be from the case, I'm not sure. Rickenbacker 381 V69 in Maple Glow, circa 1988. Now I gotta figure out some music to play on it. All right, next up is to plug it in. Oh, kids are screaming. Uh, look for the next video when I plug it in, make see what it sounds like after I get the flat wounds on it. <laughs> 